Yo, Tua, what's up? Give you some words of encouragement. Um, I'll spend the time with God and, you know, having a conversation. So let's get to it. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. I always tell people, take what you need. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. 1 John 5 and 6. Reading from the New King James Version. This is he who came by water and blood. Jesus Christ, not only by water, but by water and blood. And it is the spirit who bears witness because the spirit is truth. So we're talking about the number 13, right? We know one and the three, right? So we know one and three equals four. Hmm. So you one of four siblings, as they say, one of four. So verse seven, for there are three that bear witness in heaven, the father, the word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one verse eight. And these three, and these are three that bear witness on earth, the spirit, the water, and of the blood, and the three agree as one. Verse nine, if we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God, which he has testified of his son. So if we look at Acts. Um, we know that there was 12 disciples, you know, with Jesus. So that makes what? There's 13, right? But let's get to the word. Something significant about that 13. And I watched how um, you were on Todd McShay's or whatever top board and you were number two and dropped down to number 13. Let's get to it. Acts 1 and 16. Men and brother, brethren, this scripture has to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke before the mouth by the mouth of David concerning Judas, who became a guide to those who arrested Jesus. Verse 17, for he was numbered with us. That's important. He was numbered with us and obtained as a part in the ministry verse 20 for it is written in the book of psalms let his dwelling place be desolate and let no one live in it and let another take his office verse 21 therefore of these men who have accompanied us all the time the lord jesus went in and out among us verse 22 beginning from the baptism of john to the day to that day when he was taken from uh, up from us one of these must become a witness with us of his resurrection verse 23 and they proposed to joseph called barsabas who was surnamed justice and matthias verse 24 and they prayed and said you O lord who know the hearts of all show which of these two you have chosen, verse 25, to take part in the men, this ministry and apostleship from which Judas by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place, verse 20. And they cast their lots and the lot fell on Matthias and he was numbered with the 11 apostles. See, what's interesting about that, if he was numbered, then that makes him number 13. Hmm. <laughs> but we know that if you love God, God has given you a promise. Romans 8, 28, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his word, for those that love him. So that means that if you love God, God has given you a promise that no matter what happens, all things work together. And we know the word says that signs and wonders. We know the word says signs shall follow those that believe. And so it's actually a blessing in disguise. But let's finish. Um, Jeremiah 42 and 10, it said 10 days later, the Lord gave his reply to Jeremiah. If you read that, Jeremiah was inquiring of the Lord and God didn't respond for 10 days. It's a blessing in disguise. So they're looking at your injury. If some of those teams don't want to uh, sign you. So if any of those teams don't want to um, give you a shot, it's a good thing. See, I don't think there's um, anything else you have to prove. I mean, you came in. To the championship game, you know, um, and you won. I mean, you know, yeah, you can go back to college and prove what. I mean, you already proved that you're a winner. I mean, you already proved that you can come in in a tough situation and beat, you know, the second best team 
in the country, you know, because y'all won. So call them the second best team. So, I mean, in that stage on the magnitude and you gave God credit, like he's always been giving God credit. So what else is there really to prove? I mean, whoever, you know, wants to take a chance on you, that's cool because we, we know we can pray for that and you can be healed just like the woman with the issue of blood. We ain't worried about that, right? Second Timothy 3 and 17, through the word, we are put together and shaped up for the task that God has for us. That's the messenger um, Bible. John 10 and 27, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. I tell people all the time, take what you need. Amos 3 and 7, surely the Lord God does nothing unless he reveals his secret to his servants, the prophets. So understand this. Whoever signs you, gives you that opportunity, you go in there with your best. See, because they don't know what you know and what I know, what we know, because God can heal that and God will. So because it's a blessing in disguise, because if they don't want to sign you again, wherever you go, because a lot of times some of these franchises, they sign quarterbacks, you know, they were talking about tanking and stuff like that. And if they scared now, God know what he's doing. You know, it was what it was David who was in the back. God know what he's doing, you know. So my brother, I'm telling you, man, I would um just enter that draft, man. And if you, you know, you ain't at the top of it. Don't matter, man. God got you wherever you go, man. All you got to do is trust in him, man. You've been trusting him this far, so trust him. That's why I says all things, not some, but all things work together for good, man. And I'll be rooting for you. Um, I'll be praying for you no matter where you go. And the time to sign, the team that signs you, they definitely going to be blessed because the favor of God is on your life. And it's going to hit that team as well, too, man. So just stay encouraged, man. Take what you need. Like I said, there's nothing else left for you to prove in college because you can always go back and still get your degree. But there's nothing left left that you have to prove. Don't need to go get the Heisman or nothing like that. You've already proved it. you came in and won a national championship on one of the biggest stages of college football ever. You know, the playoffs and it was there. You know, you came in and you had to come and do your thing, even through the adversity. I mean, you showed adversity in situations that, you know, you first got in, even when you got, a, you know, you got sacked. You know, but you did your thing. You came out on top as a as a victor. And what did God say? All you got to do is give him the glory and he going to continue doing that. And you've been doing that your whole career, man. You know, what does it say? The, la the first shall be last and the last shall be first. So, my brother, like I said, I'm praying for you. Take what you need. As always, I say love y'all. God bless.